Good morning, everyone. Jan Furston here from Furston House. I have been busy. <laughs> I um, created two new journals, uh, both Christmas journals, and they're both for sale in my Etsy shop. And I'll put that link below. The funny thing was it started off as one journal and it, um, it kind of grew and grew. And I thought, well, no one wants a journal that thick because it's really too thick. It's not manageable to write in. So I thought, okay, make two. So course it took twice as long <laughs> but uh, it is what it is so I want to try and get through this relatively in a hurry so I'm going to put this one over there and I'm going to go for it the dimensions they're not identical um, as I said they coordinate with each other because they were basically one going to be one journal uh, but they are completely different in many other respects so um, I'll try and remember some of the um, I've written down a list of the people that I've used some of their digital prints from. They're just fabulous. Um, this one, um, Jingle Bells with the Skates, is uh, six inches by nine inches with a two and a half inch, um, two and a half inch binding. And I've used this really neat fabric. I'm hoping you can see the, the glittery. I've had this for, I think it was a tablecloth or something, and it's little glittery crosses. And I thought, how perfect. So I thought, yeah, that'll work great for this. And this design came from Cottage Rose Graphics. They have some beautiful, beautiful Christmas prints. And then this is um, some lace that I've just attached, some lace trim. We open it up. Dun, dun, dun. And I've used, for the interior, I've lined it with an antique napkin that I've stitched down and literally pulled up to make pockets on either side. And here we have our first digital. This is from My Porch Prints. Such a neat, 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 neat um, set of digitals that they have. Antique lace that I've taken from old napkins that were shredded. Here we have, oh goodness, this is my favorite uh, purchase, I think, of this year. This is a photocopy of my original cabinet card. And... I just fell in love with it. It was this little boy on a toy horse. And I thought, that is perfect for Christmas. So he got included. I think he's in both the journals. And I've just put some cardstock on the reverse. But he's so sweet. So let's put him back in there. There are about 45 pages in each book. Here we have <laughs> cats. If you know me, you know that we love cats. I actually have four right now. I'm keeping two for my daughter. And um, all of the cards are, are blank on the reverse. And then this. And I do I have the name of the lady who I got instructions on how to do this? Of course not. And I should do because I've done this before. But she taught me in her tutorial. And I'll put the link below. How to fold up this paper like this. And it's just so neat. And it takes up small spaces. And you just tuck one side right inside the other. And then you've got a pocket. Now she did hers. Gosh, I wish I could remember what her name was. I'm so sorry. But I will put the link below. She had um, a centered piece of uh, doily or crocheted lace here. I put it off the side for this one, but I've got some that I did center. And she also um, glued hers on the back, on the reverse, so that it didn't go anywhere. But I just found that a little bit more difficult for me, because I'm not very graceful. So I just put it in there with a paper clip. And here we have a CD. Inside is a real orchid. It's been air dried. Digitals here. No, I'm sorry. Those are not digitals. Those are from... um. I ordered those a couple of years ago from a German company. They're actually die cuts, and I just think they're so neat. Here we have two original um, postcards. Christmas scene here. And this one was written in 1922 on December 22nd. And this one uh, has not been sent anywhere, but I thought it was fun. Let's just fit right down in there. Pocket. 
beautiful colors on that still. Here we have, this is the night before Christmas, and I'm not sure who did that, so I'll put that below, but the children were nestled all snug in their beds, and that's when what to my wondering eyes should appear. And then, of course, he sees Santa. And uh, there are other postcards or other little tags like this, and they finish the story. So <laughs> that's, I thought that was especially sweet. There are also some that are showing sleighs with horses and things like that. And then this is an original postcard, beautiful postcard. I thought it makes such a beautiful pocket, and it really does. It's hard to find Christmas postcards, actually. Here we have tags, cards, whatever you want to call them. And then we have, um, I ordered two, four, two of these. And they're actually um, vintage bells that I've just backed with some cardstock and then sewn down glued here for a pocket here we have one of my I made some new ones a couple of weeks ago you can see the reverse and this is winter vetch and that's um, some of my pressed flowers and you open it up and you write on this side you could write on there but I wouldn't suggest it because you don't want to interfere with the flower but it's such a sweet little flower. It's called Winter Vetch, and it's purple, and I thought perfect for this. Okay, get on there. Here we have um, some paper. I discovered this. This is Tailor Made Journals, and. Um, it's a digital print. You you literally print it out. So I have some that are real as far as, you know, someone actually took the paper and I have the paper that they've dyed. But this is a digital print of that process. And it just, I love it to put on the backs of things when I don't want something that's all, <coughs> excuse me, when it's all white and everything. I want color and this is the perfect muted color for that. And I got this idea from um, the Paper Pixie. Um, I had ordered a journal from her and she had done something similar to this with a paper doily and so I just kind of took that idea and ran with it with um, some cheesecloth and then uh, one of the little prints there. I thought that turned out really well. She had something else for hers but my, mine of course was a Christmas thing but I thought that's perfect because I don't like using doilies, paper doilies in uh, journals by themselves because they tear and you can't really do anything with them but that was really nice here we have some more cards digital cards little die cuts that I've cut out here and some lace sweet little angel here we have two more postcards I bought this in Germany last year it's actually um, it was printed in France that was a neat street scene winter time and then this one gosh i've had this for years and years uh came from uh, winston salem north carolina we had visited one of the shops there and they had this and i thought well that's just i thought it was neat what can i say i'll put that in that way so you can see the trees i like trees and here we have a little snowman i've used a couple of these uh it was a post um not a postcard an actual christmas card and i just cut them out and they're so sweet. Of course, you can see. Now, this paper here, this is actual uh, the actual paper that was dyed with that lace pattern on it. So, you can see some of the difference. But I just think it's so neat. I now have both. Best of both worlds. Here we have some more um, Santa hanging the stockings by the chimney with care. And the father looking up as he went out of sight. And then the end of it. Happy Christmas to all and to all a good night. I thought those were sweet. And I've just used um, this an original page cut out from the book. Um, the Country, let's see, what is it called? The Country Diary Christmas Book. And that's where that comes from. Neat Father Christmas here. This, I love this print. It's just really neat. And I put some antique lace here on the top and use that as a sort of a tuck spot. 
and um, this comes from okay now you can see what I've done with the Taylor made journals um, digital lace dyed papers I put them on the reverse of other items and it's perfect for writing on it's muted enough that you can see everything and it just turned out really well there we go put that back in there and this piece this is another of the actually dyed paper I was playing around I hate getting my arm all the way in here that's all you can see but but I was playing around about two or three months ago with some lace and I had these cards and I love these cards but I couldn't decide what to do with them so I just started putting lace on them I've left the lace in a lot of places where you can just lift it up and write on it all of this lace is antique and vintage most of it antique and then on the reverse this this lace is actually from Walmart believe it or not I love that it's so pretty but I've left lots of space here for um for writing and then on here we have pull that off deck the halls and again I've used some of that digital lace oh come all you faithful that's some of my favorites little cards and then I've left this blank on the back again with that digital paper from tailor-made journals I just love it I'm just gonna leave these in here we'll just go back because it's getting too long here oh that was the reverse and I've used this print again, as you can see. I just thought it was really neat. And I made a pocket so you can write on the reverse. This is some of the digital paper. The clarity, I'm, I'm very surprised with the clarity and the color. It just turned out really well. And of course, there's the pocket. And you can slip things in there that might be something special. Of course, that was on the reverse. And this is the first Noel. Whoops. And Jingle Bells. In each book, I have a uh, rice paper bag. And that's from my friend Penny. And I put a coordinating napkin in there. So that you can use that if you wish to do some decoupage. A little Christmas print. Here we have another one of the little snowmen I cut out. There are like four different designs on the Christmas card. And uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Some paper to draw on. Or draw on. <laughs> I've got my grandsons on my mind. I just purchased some fun stuff for them for Christmas. Oh, this is something new. This is from Joann's, and it's amazing. It's ribbon, and I want to show you what it looks like on the um, on the roll. It's it's cut out, and it's glitter and glow, and it is so neat. It's snowflakes, but they've been edged in little gold bits. So it sort of highlights it, and I'm just so thrilled with it. Where'd it go? It's here somewhere. <laughs> there it is. I just thought it worked out really well. And they were having a fantastic sale. Buy one and get three free. It's like, okay, oh darn. So I did. <laughs> Card there, and that's an actual die cut from that German company that I can't remember their name from now. I've had them for years, and hadn't done anything with them so and this is from the same company I believe no it's not in the same company anyway it's just a little pocket that I've used a snippets of lace more cat pictures They're so sweet someone told me that if you put orange peels under a Christmas tree it will keep 
the cats away from your tree. So we're going to try that this year. Since we have four this year around Christmas time. There's a Christmas carol. These are both blank on the reverse. And then I'm going to take that one off that you can see there. These are little booklets that I've made. This is using a journal. This one's from, looks like, December 4th, 1913. And it's the actual page. It's not a photocopy. This is the actual page from 1913. It has the writing on it. And I've just, I didn't want to interrupt any of the writing or anything. So I've just used it as a cover. A little tiny notebook there. The other part of that bag. And then the other part of the napkin. And I've just done some stamping here. One of my Christmas boots. If I can get it off. Well, this is a Christmas boot, but because I just made it for Christmas, but you can use it for anything. Make um, neat little bookmarks and what have you. There we go. Oops, upside down. And the last page. Isn't that beautiful? That's from an old Christmas card. I save Christmas cards and use them as tags for the next year or two. And I had a, a huge amount left because we had a lot of Christmas cards. We send out about 100 Christmas cards every year, literally. And um, so we get a lot in return as well. And I save some of the prettier ones to do things with. And that was before I started journaling. So you can imagine how much fun I'm having now. And this card there. And here I've used, on this pocket, I've used some more of this ribbon that I purchased. And you can see the glittery stuff. It's just really neat. And this is what I call a writing board. I've left this muted on the reverse so that you can actually write on it if you'd like. And I've just cut out that little thing up there. The idea is you don't want any ornamentation on this because what it's designed to do is when you're writing on a page, you put this underneath it so that you can actually, you know write without writing on top of any of the other stuff so that's that one it's a writing board two signatures and that is the jingle bell skates and now we are going to get father christmas oh tannenbaum out of the way and again that one came from cottage rose graphics beautiful beautiful graphics they had old world christmas is what i call them i've also used stickles um, you can see, I think maybe you can see it, a little glittery. I did the same with the skates, and it's just really neat. Vintage buttons here, um, leaf, and um, there's a, an antique button there. A little doily. That same yummy um, ribbon from Walmart. Same fabric. Whoops, there's some stuff. We'll go through here. Some of the paper from Taylor Made Journals. So pretty. And I've used um, a vintage napkin that I cut up here. And there's a thread. I don't like threads, sorry. This is from a Christmas card that I cut up. I just put a little bit of um is it cheesecloth uh, down there? Another one of the little snowmen, you can see. Beautiful flower. Some beautiful lace. I love that lace. And this is another one of those rice uh, paper bags with napkin that you can use for decoupaging if you'd like. Some stamping I did. This is from an old Christmas card that I had. So beautiful. And this is um, this is uh, from the um, the Country Diary Christmas book. That's an original page, and so is this. This is also from there. It's a poem about the oxen, and it's sort of like the story about the the animals that spoke. But this is, I think, the animals were kneeling. It's really sweet. And here we have a tuck spot. Merry Christmas. I thought that'd be fun to to actually color, but I didn't. I thought maybe y'all would like to 
you know, whoever purchases it. Here we have another one of those. Let's see what I use on this one, a clip. All right, come on. What irritates me is this is what it's going to key into to take a picture for the entire thing. I don't know how they get that, but that just sits down in there. And this is some old jewelry um, pieces that I had. That's what was on the first one and the second one. You can see this design is centered, whereas the other one was on this side. And again, you just unfold it, and you've got a full sheet of paper. Tea and coffee, distressed, so on and so forth. Some of it I do myself, the larger pages, and some of it I purchased from a friend of mine. So, there we go. And I'm just going to leave that out. That was on the reverse using lace and to jazz it up a bit. That's the fun thing with digitals. I don't like it when you just leave them as is. You need to add some stuff to them for the most part. And this again is how I put the lace. You can see that. Printed that on the reverse. So it's not just a stark white. And this is actually a, an envelope. And inside are more writing areas, yay. I love to write, so I like to give people lots of space, but it's a sweet little scene. Little house and on the water. Compliments of the season. Pretty lace. Oh goodness, where did this one come from? This one came from Digital Magpie. It's blank on the reverse, and I just put some antique lace here, and that's just a new lace, but it's, I love the, the shape of it. Turned out real well. That's from the same place, a digital magpie. Some vintage lace and a vintage button. The other part of the um, rice paper bag. Oh, this one I had fun with. This is from My Porch Prints. The digital print was actually a, a thank you gift so it was free and there were different I printed it in different sizes and it came out really neat so it has a it has a baby it's a little pocket and we have crocheted uh, flower and a vintage button <laughs> a little tuck spot and I've just put some paper to write on and he sits down in his little pocket there and then there's the reverse flower that's been a little pearl thing and uh, crocheted flower and some lace and you open it up and there's again I printed that on the reverse that was, sweet. I was really pleased with how it turned out and that's from my porch prints and we have here a um, goodness an accordion Ribbon decoration. This is from the book uh, Country Diary Christmas. Christmas book. And these are the other prints I was telling you about that are, that's of the one that did the Night Before Christmas. And this is just sweet um, Christmas scenes. I think they're from old postcards maybe or Christmas cards. They were very sweet. You can see this one also has a um, a writing board to put behind your pages, and this one has a different reverse for more writing space. Hmm, sweet. And here are two more of those scenes. And that's just a pocket that I've made using um craft paper envelope and some lace and that's the actual paper that's been dyed here we have paper for writing on I love looking at some of these prices and every now and then you can find some of these old things um, I bought some old tinsel and it's it has that old 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 look to it that you can't recreate really and it's just so neat. Now I'll use it uh, on the trees and stuff. I'm trying to think if I put anything in there. Yes, I did. Plain paper there. And he 
here. I'm not going to take it out. It's just a piece of paper with the uh, from the TaylorMade journals. It's had that um, beautiful lace printing done. A digital, uh, not a digital, a die cut from Tim Holtz. Card there. Another one of these that I've made from a journal. Or not a journal, but a, um, it was like a ledger. Mary Ireland for something or other. The following brothers paid dues. And this one doesn't have the date on it uh, because it's another part of the paper, but that's from 1913. I think the date was December 4th. Here's a sweet little copy. Now, again, this is a photocopy of my original uh, cabinet card. And it's just precious with that little boy on his horse. You can write on the reverse there. And here we have some more of my pressed flowers. I've just used an applique on the reverse. And this is Mexican Heather. And it lasts forever. I mean, it. we didn't see the end of ours until like a week ago. And it was planted in early spring, so it's pretty much 10 months out of the year here in Alabama. As you go further south, it, it's literally considered a perennial all year long. Writing space there. Beautiful plant. And here again, this I, the idea I took from Paper Pixie. And just used a paper doily, put a backing on it of cardstock. I think I used a manila folder. And um, then put some bits and pieces there another of the sheets and uh, they have another one of the little snowmen and this is the actual paper that's been dyed with the the lace prints on it sweet little card that's also from cottage rose graphics and i've just made a pocket a little crochet and a little flower there. Whoops, it went off. Okay. And this is, um, I bought this um, small little booklet of, um, oh, it was music. And it was like a paperback size from uh, Germany about a year ago when I was visiting my daughter. And open that up and I've just put in some paper to write on, added some little paper flowers, thought that turned out real well, whoops, come on, get down in there, and here we have, it's a little pocket made from a cellophane bag, and I put in a little card in there, and then behind the packet, I just dyed some paper and distressed it with ink. I love this old paper. This is what we used sim very similar when I was in grade school. And it's it's red, so I thought, well, it's perfect for Christmas. But it's muted, and I love that, that design. So, there you have it. That is both of them. This one is Father Christmas, O Tannenbaum. And this one is... Uh, Jingle Bells with the White Skates. Again, uh, those are both for sale in my Etsy shop, and I'll put those uh, the link below. I hope you're having a lovely day. It's the first day of uh, December, and it is cold. It got down to 29 here last night, so for Alabama, that's cold. We even saw snow yesterday. Take care. Hope you're having a blessed day and a blessed week. Bye-bye.